Three United Nations military observers and one Lebanese translator were wounded Saturday as they patrolled Lebanon's southern border, the UN's peacekeeping mission said, though it was not immediately clear who carried out the attack. It is unknown who carried out the attack. Lebanese caretaker Prime Minister Najib Makati called the UN and claimed Israel targeted the observers' vehicles, Lebanon's national news agency reported. Major General Araldo Lazaro Sines, the UN's commander in Lebanon, told Makati the organization is investigating the incident. Joanna Renetska, the UN's special coordinator for Lebanon, said she was saddened to learn about the incident, which serves as another reminder of the urgent need to return to a cessation of hostilities across the Blue Line and recommit to a UN resolution for peace in the region. Israel has traded fire with the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah for months amid its conflict with Hamas. Israel has killed nearly 270 Hezbollah fighters in its shelling of Lebanon, according to NBC News, though the attacks have also killed about 50 civilians and struck UN forces and the Lebanese army. The UN's observers are stationed along the demarcation line between Lebanon and Israel as a part of a peacekeeping mission. The UN said last month the Israeli military violated international law by firing on a group of journalists, killing a Reuters reporter. The IDF denied targeting the journalists. The organization also said in November one of its patrols was hit by Israeli gunfire in southern Lebanon. No peacekeepers were injured, though their vehicle was damaged, the UN said. Three UN observers and a translator wounded in South Lebanon, peacekeeping mission says, Reuters.